It was supposed to be a quick trip, about two weeks. Now, astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore could be stuck in space for eight months. You could tell that the thrust was degraded at the time. We didn't know why. Not long after launch in June, some thrusters on the Boeing Starliner failed. The company and NASA began rigorous testing. NASA now saying they've identified the problem and have nearly all working again, but still aren't certain. Human spaceflight is not easy. They're now considering bringing the pair home on a rival SpaceX Dragon ship. That would be no earlier than next February. You don't want to start a space mission having to cross your fingers and hope that probably something will work okay. Former astronaut Jeffrey Hoffman says the thrusters are key for re-entry and that Starliner will likely work fine, but mission control is cautious. NASA has been burned before by bad decision making and people have not forgotten the Challenger, the Columbia and uh, they certainly don't want that again. And he calls it a big blow for NASA and for Boeing, already under fierce scrutiny for planes failing. And the two parties seem to disagree. Boeing says it's confident Starliner can return safely. With the ISS scheduled for decommission not long after 2030, and Starliner clearly needing more testing, a space watcher wonders if Boeing will stay in the space race. I think at that point, Boeing might have to sort of ask themselves, like, is it worth the sunk cost during Cygnus's arrival. Other craft do visit the ISS, like the supply ship on Tuesday. NASA saying Williams and Wilmore are helping and will continue working with the crew. Astronauts sign up to go into space and they're getting a lot, a lot more than, than they uh, were anticipating. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.